Christmas Everlasting is a pretty enjoyable film. This was released in 2018. It's directed by Ron Oliver and written by Marcy Holland, Maria Nation and Ron Oliver, based on the novel by Marie Bostwick. I haven't read the novel. If you know how it compares or have any thoughts, please feel free to share. And this stars Tatiana Ali as Lucy and Dontre T. Whitfield as Peter. And it actually starts out quite dramatically actually because Lucy receives a phone call informing her that her sister has unfortunately passed away and she re returns to her childhood home and reconnects with her past and there's of course a romantic aspect as well that I won't say too much about but I think Lucy and Peter had a really great on-screen chemistry the romantic aspect was very believable and this is against the backdrop of Christmas we have a lot of festive decorations and some Christmas carols there's a tree lighting the, the food in this looks gorgeous the food is delicious and all of that it is well and good, but there's also this this emotional aspect that runs right throughout it as Lucy interacts with people who knew her sister and are, of course, mourning the loss of her sister. I will say it felt like on some occasions that Lucy was slotting into her sister's place. Not intentionally, it's not something she was trying to do, but I felt like some people were treating her as an extension of her sister. In fact, one person said when when they invited her to join the quilting group that her sister was part of, she said something to the effect of, having you here is like having a bit of your sister here. While I understand what they meant, it's kind of like they were saying, please join us because we miss your sister, and it kind of feels like you're her sister, if that makes sense. So I didn't love that aspect of it. But it wasn't Lucy's fault. It's absolutely not something Lucy was doing. It's more so something other people were doing towards her. But it didn't bother me too much. It was more just an observation as something that maybe irritated me a little bit. But other than that, I thought it was a really nice film. Lucy has not been back home for a while. She is a lawyer. She's got a decent job far away from home and has just never made the time to come home. And with it being Christmas and having lost her sister... It's the perfect time for her to reconnect with her past and, of course, evaluate where she wants to be in the future. And I won't say any more than that about the narrative, but it works very well. Everything flowed really well. The pacing was great. We have, as I said, a decent amount of Christmas in here. It's not one of those films that shoves Christmas in the title and then has hardly any Christmas in it. I felt very satisfied with the festivities. There's a lot of red as well, which is very beautiful. And the characters are all likeable. The performances are really good. The chemistry between Lucy and Peter was very believable. So no complaints from me. As I said, the only tiny issue I had is that it felt like Lucy was treating or Lucy was being treated by other people as if she was simply an extension of her sister and I didn't like that I don't know if that's realistic if that's how people would respond in this situation but it wasn't the most comfortable to watch but other than that I thought Christmas Everlasting was a really good film I did enjoy it and I am happy to recommend it